Welcome back to the show. Uh, this community center is right in my neighborhood. And you know, what's, what's amazing is how many things happen at this particular community center. We're gonna focus in on one, but um, to tell us a little bit more and give us a, a greater overview, we're joined by Jessica Suto. She's the Opportunity and Inclusion Team Lead, uh, Social Harvest Project Manager at the Rideau Rockcliffe Community Resource Center. Welcome, great to have you here. Thank you so much. Jessica, yeah, let's get a, a bit of an overview, because as I said, a lot of things go on at this particular community resource center. Can you give us a, a bit of an idea of what happens? Absolutely. So the most important thing that we try to do is just have emergency services and social services to alleviate poverty in our ward. But there's a range of other services that also happen at the same time. So there's youth programming, there's computer skills, there's gardening programs, there's everything for everyone. So we're always trying to welcome all the population of Ward 13 and the city of Ottawa as well to, to come and take part of it. Yeah, it's 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 an amazing, and, and the building too, right, allows you to have all of these different uh, organizations. And do you collaborate a lot with each other? We do. Um, so we collaborate internally and externally. Okay. There are about 20, 20 something other organizations in the same hub. So we're located at the old Rideau Hub, Rideau High School on 815 Saint Laurent Boulevard. And Internally, um, our microgreens and everything else that we grow at the greenhouse goes to the food bank that we have on site or directly through Good Food Box. So I if see. anyone wants to participate, it's also um, Incubator 13 helps us with our employment program. So there's a lot of collaboration that goes on and we cannot do any of it without <laughs> just working all together. Yeah, for sure. Um, let's talk specifically about Social Harvest Ottawa. Yes. Uh, you mentioned those collaborations. So what does Social Harvest Ottawa do in particular? So we were one of the social enterprises that are umbrellaed by the Rideau Rockcliffe Community Resource Centre and we do everything gardening and environmental related. Okay. So it can be programs, workshops, um, on Thursdays we have senior programming, so all of our older adults come from 10 to 12. They have been doing these amazing paper cards for us, so it's recycled paper and seeds. So once oh, you're yeah. you're done with them, you don't want to keep somebody's card for like maybe Christmas or whatever, you can just rip it apart, plant it out, and it's all organic, like we only use um, other veg vegetables to create the dye, so it's really incredible. So what kind of seeds might you find within these cars? Is um, it a variety? It is. So okay. sometimes it's wild flowers, sometimes it's different herbs, so it depends on what people are looking for, but it's really an experiment, and every time they make it, it's just a lot of fun. It's I love different. it. This yeah. is a, what a great, <laughs> amazing idea. Talk about sustainability. You can give somebody a card no matter what they're celebrating and then they can they can plant and grow. Uh, unbelievable. Mm -hmm. um, you brought a little example of, I guess, a take home that people exactly. people can take away, right? Um, so I'd actually like some help with this. So this is sure. our growing kit. Um, so if you don't want to do it at the center, you can just buy a growing kit to support our program okay. and then you can do it at home. So these are just cocoa core pucks and I'm okay. just going to get some water here. Sure and SQ2 pour. So kids really love this. I'm just going to give so you So I'm just going to pour like how so much is there? You're going to pour some water into it. If you if you do it slowly, you're going to see it start to expand. Okay. And that's the part that kids really like. All right. Um, but it's also I'm funny for us. I'm kind of a kid us. myself, so. Um, so you can go a little, but you see that it starts to hydrate, starts to expand, and this is what's going to become the medium for us. Um, okay. So this is the basically the soil, is that is that right? Yes, we can call it soil. It's, it's actually. Derek, we can call it whatever you like. It's, it's actually it's, cocoa you're growing. You're the host. <laughs> Sorry, um, go ahead. No, it's all good. Um, so oh, it yeah, is cocoa core. So it's just a byproduct of the the coconut. So it's the only product that is not Canadian. Um, but we're trying to move away from like using peat or other resources that are not okay. fully sustainable. Is so that this enough? is one. Um, a little bit more. Okay. You can I'll do it. Yep. More. Perfect. Um, we don't want to overwater it. <laughs> so if you want to put your hands on it now, like okay. I did bring some paper for you. So just break it up? Break it up. All and right, then you okay. want to see if there is any portions of it that's dry or not. Oh, I see. Okay. And you're just going to break it apart, mix it in the water. And this is what we do. Like a lot of our workshops is bringing okay. more of these like sensorial experiences to kids. Um, just the beginning of the month was the first time that we worked with three to six year olds. Oh, and it really? Was amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that must have been so yeah. much fun. And just to see like they stop and like they look and like they're really interested. And a lot of kids have never heard of what microgreens are and they don't yeah, know of course. how important and nutritious um, Okay, they so can I'll be. put that in there. Is that good? <laughs> We're oh, what am, <laughs> We're oh going I'm dumping. To substitute it. <laughs> I might as well be one of those kids. Let's be honest. So we're going to, to get all of your cold okay. corn in here. And it's sort of like making a pie. You just want to break it up a okay. little bit, substitute, and then I'll give you the honor to right. open up our seats. You want that? Um, 
And then we're just going to sprinkle them in here. And, and that's this is, all uh, that I've we got need broccoli here. Yeah. Okay. So those seeds are the same that I just brought here. And this is what they're going to look like once. Yep, just sprinkle all over. All of it? All of it. Okay. So you mentioned like, this is the take home, but you also said, or if you're doing it um, at your location. So do you, you have a community garden then at the resource we center? We do. We actually have two community garden locations, one at the center uh, where we work and the other at Carson's Community House. Wow. Um, That's a great and idea. And people can come. They can um, learn to grow with us. They can bring their expertise. A lot of the people that come already know a lot about gardening. And yeah, it's a little piece of plot that they can have access if you don't have any space in your home or right, of you course. just need a little bit more. You mentioned yeah. workshops, Jessica. So what, what type of workshop? I guess this is you know probably something you can learn. Are there, are there are sort of further gardening workshops that you offer too? There are. So we do have the growing kit workshops, which is for microgreens. There are starting your garden, so like seedlings and other things that you can do. But I think the the most important one that we do is really the training program. So right. it's seasonal training that people can just come to us and learn skills, either because they're going to go on the job afterwards or because they want to get more uh, onto their belt there. It is important to, to mention that it's all done through volunteers as yeah. well. Yeah. So it is very... You have and internships too, We right? do. And again, Incubator 13 does all of that for I us. See. Like they are the ones that help with um, organizing, hiring, all of it. And then it's three months in length. So every three months we hire a new cohort. We have a new one coming up for summer if anyone is interested. Okay, excellent. And excellent. they can get all of that information on our websites. Terrific, yeah. terrific. Um, volunteer opportunities. I mean, we're a volunteer driven television station. I know you wanted to do a shout out to all of your volunteers because it is National uh, Volunteer Week this week. So, uh, you know, from all of us at Rogers TV as well, for, you know, for everybody that does so much work, uh, happy National Volunteer Work to, to yes. you and your entire team. Really appreciate <laughs> all the hard work that you do. Yeah, no, and it wouldn't be possible without them. Yeah, so. exactly. Really uh, you can find out more information. We brought up the, uh, the website. We'll be back with more daytime right after this. Okay.